Today, we will be uncovering one of the darkest TikTok icebergs. At this point, I don't think I need to explain what an iceberg chart is, but if you need some help figuring it out, I will have a brief explanation in the description down below. TikTok has grown to be one of the biggest video sharing platforms ever. They have taken over the world with their short video style platform as the world grows more and more easily distracted. It is hard to sit down to watch a 30 minute video, but it is easy to sit down and watch short videos. All this to say that they have come piggybacking off of the explosion of Vine. And now they have nearly 700 million active users. With this many users, there are many videos uploaded to their platform. And with that many videos being pushed nonstop, you're bound to have a video slip through the cracks. Things that should not be allowed on the platform. Things that are unexplainable, scary, or just plain wrong. This iceberg that we are covering today was put together by myself. I combined some of the scariest topics from other TikTok iceberg videos, so let's begin this creepy journey down the TikTok iceberg. The sky. What's a better place to start than the sky? It's still light up there, not too creepy, just a warm welcome for what is to come. Rare Usernames This topic is pretty straightforward, it actually happens on a lot of social media sites, but today we'll be looking at it specifically on TikTok. Like we were saying earlier, TikTok has a lot of users. And with so many users on their platform, short names are getting harder and harder to come by. So having a username that is just at one would be rare, and people could sell this account potentially. There are people out there that are starved to become TikTok famous, and a lot of them are willing to go buy these accounts with special names that may somehow give them some advantage on TikTok. Or so they would think. PlayerUp is a website that sells these accounts, so you could literally just get on there and look for a cool name and then buy it. Sometimes these accounts do come with some followers, but what good is it if you're just buying an account? those followers will not be active. So the shorter your name and the more rare it is, the more it could sell on these player up type websites. Really the only thing dark here is that it's rumored that a lot of these transactions are done in Bitcoin. And that may just be because it's an international purchase and sometimes it's easier to do things like that through cryptocurrency. Hamster cult. This is probably one of the least scary topics on this iceberg, but it's still pretty interesting. This meme slash cult basically all started January of 2019. At Beanboy22 posted the video first of the hamster. The hamster was making weird faces at the camera and just looked peculiar. After this video was released onto the internet, it became a meme fairly fast. It quickly became some sort of cult on TikTok where basically just a ton of people came together and made all their profile pictures of this hamster. According to Google, the hamster profile pictures is actually another example of a TikTok cult, which are quickly becoming a huge trend and a thing people are getting involved in. It's basically when a bunch of TikTok users come together and try to take over the app, or sections of it at least. Not sure if the hamster cult ever got anything astonishing accomplished, but we sure did see them everywhere. Zero dot don't report. Basically, if someone has this in their username, they're trying to hide something, potentially illegal or at least not allowed on the platform. They don't want people to look at their account and then report them, and I don't think this really works that well. This is just some specific account that used similar tactics to get away with this. It turned into a big trend, not just on TikTok. It's kind of everywhere, and you probably see a lot of accounts similar to this. I would show you an example of one of these accounts, but the reason why people report these videos, well, let's just say it would not be allowed here on YouTube. India banning TikTok. By now, we all know TikTok's founding company started in China. Just so happens that a lot of countries do not trust China. So when people found out that the TikTok app was storing information on its users, it caused a lot of political drama with many, many countries. India was not the only country that talked about banning the app, even America was close to doing so unless if it was bought by a different company. Regardless, TikTok was banned in India on June 29th, 2020, over national security issues according to Google. The tip. Finally, we have landed on the frigid iceberg. 
and at the very top, where things will gradually become just slightly more unsettling. Jail talk. This is a, a pretty interesting topic, and obviously when people are on TikTok and they come across some prison inmate doing some TikTok dances, it makes people wonder if it's real or not. But what may surprise you is that most of these are probably real. There are obviously a few fakes in there, but there's also a lot of ones that have been confirmed. From the research that I did, smartphones are not allowed at all in jail, but there are some jails that supposedly let cell inmates buy phones, but it's really regulated and it isn't like they're getting some smartphone so they could go play Candy Crush. Now the question is, how are they getting these phones? And uh, just in case you wanted to know how to commit this crime, Google explains it all for us. The phones are smuggled into prisons through the mail, visitors to the prison, corrupt correctional officers, and more recently by drones that drop them on prison yards. Fake disability. Basically people on TikTok are either using people with disabilities to gain views, or they're having people fake a disability for them to gain views. This is such a big deal that even Penguin Zero has made a video on this topic, and it was pretty recent. At adopted and single child was an account that did this. They pretended to help this guy with a fake disability it appears. All the credit to this lady, she's the one that actually researched this topic and discovered all this, but the guy in this video has been found on the internet. They were going through social media and they found out that he was actually an athlete with no disability. But in reality, it's all up to you to decide if this was real or fake. Vegan teacher. This topic has been covered so much, so let's go over this pretty fast. This vegan teacher lady became a pretty big deal in social media a while back. She was a hardcore vegan, and she had a lot of things to say on social media, and because of this, a lot of YouTube commentators make videos on her and made her out to be this villain. Well, she quickly seemed to play in that role very well, and well, things got very heated on the platform. It made a lot of people uncomfortable, but was mostly just some fun drama to follow. Under the surface. It's getting much colder. Can you feel it? We're now under the surface. Not too deep though. You still can see some light peeking through the water, just barely. Tony Lopez. This topic is pretty straightforward. It's not necessarily scaring, it's just disturbing. Tony Lopez has over 20 million followers on TikTok. Unfortunately, he appears to have used his fame to his advantage, which seems to be pretty common on social media these days. Similar to the whole mini lad situation where he used his popular influence to basically seduce minors, it appears something similar is going on here with Tony Lopez. Tony Lopez has been accused of soliciting minors. I don't think I really need to go too much further with this, but here is a brief statement. Pause if you'd like. Zombie Lady. This was honestly one of the scariest topics on this iceberg, but with the lack of information on this video, I couldn't put it at the very bottom. The footage does appear to be completely real, but it's hard to prove. Basically, in this TikTok, this lady was just walking like a zombie through the streets. I think someone saw this from their apartment or house and they decided to record it because they were in shock and thought they were seeing the beginning of the zombie apocalypse. It appears that people were concerned and police were surrounding her as she stumbled down the street. The police officers are staring at her and they just appear to be confused on what's going on. And the lady appears to be strung out on drugs. Some people have a theory that she was on bath salts. A while back there's a scare where people thought the zombie apocalypse was actually happening. Basically people came across this guy that was chewing someone's face off. After they found this man, they found out that he was overdosing on bath salts. Maybe this is what this lady did. Maybe she was a zombie. Fake animal rescue. We will be looking at Agad2707. This account is not the only one being accused here, it's just one of the many. In this specific incident, these people got some baby ducks. Her husband or boyfriend or whatever went to the store and he was supposed to get something else, but he came home with ducks instead. What a lovely start to this TikTok story. Suddenly, on her TikTok, she posted a video of all her ducks jumping into a pan of oil, supposedly. Seems kind of odd that all these ducks just decided to jump in a pan of oil. In the comment sections of these videos, people state that birds don't do this. They're smarter than that. If one gets stuck, they usually back down 
and they don't copy the other's mistake. But regardless, all these ducks ended up inside of this oil pan. She videos the entire process of picking them up and trying to clean them, and she does appear to feel sorry for them. It's literally just like the Dawn commercials where people are cleaning ducks with dish soap. I'm gonna let you decide if they're telling the truth or not. Cartel TikTok. Flaunting crime and making it all look luxurious. That's what the cartel did. These people flash money, mansions, Maybachs. Those are cars that are worth over $200,000. Of course, this gets people interested. It makes this life look lavish and fun, but in reality, it is dangerous and you're gambling your life. There are rumors that kids would be convinced to join these cartels from TikTok. Some people thought that their whole recruiting process was just done through TikTok. They would post videos, show how great their life is going to be supposedly, and maybe they'll just message them and join. This hashtag was later banned from TikTok. Maybe it was for a good reason. Maybe it was all fake. Fetishing? This topic will definitely be covered more later on specific people, but just one example for now is Devin Erickson. He was a school but you would most likely find him through fan edits on TikTok. After people wanted to see this set free simply because he had a cute face, and that made him innocent to them. This really reveals how twisted the dark side of TikTok can be. It is truly disturbing to think that people are trying to reward this behavior in America. And this is not the only example. Halfway. Congratulations, you've made it halfway down this iceberg. At this point, there's not much light to be seen. It is getting darker and darker, and you can finally start to notice just how far below the surface you really are. Hashtag crime. If you look this up on TikTok, you'll definitely come across some creepy stuff that you probably wish you never saw. Despite this, there are 700 million views on TikTok just for this hashtag alone, and these range from explanation videos to actual crime. This hashtag has not yet been banned like the cartel hashtag, but if you scroll through this hashtag, you'll find some disturbing things. It is a huge rabbit hole that you really don't want to go down. It's kind of odd that people post footage on this hashtag, incriminating themselves for views. William Durga. Similar to the previous topic, this is a criminal that posted on TikTok after he had a warrant for his arrest. He was running from the cops and he, for some reason, decided why not just post a video of himself on TikTok. He was wanted for selling drugs. He figured he would be caught, but he decided to do this and get views. It's actually really twisted and disturbing seeing him dancing around knowing his life was about to change. William Durga was 21 and was caught. Zachary Latham. He was only 18 when he decided to turn his life upside down by ending somebody else's life. Some people say it was for fame on TikTok, but I think you'll see that he was just clearly mentally ill. This all started because he drived recklessly through the streets, upsetting his neighbors. He almost ran over his neighbor's son one time, and this ended up becoming a very big deal. He's had problems with his neighbors for a long time it seems, but after he played that joke on their kid, they had enough. Zack lured the kid's dad into his garage where he later killed him, then made a very disturbing phone call to 911, claiming for self-defense. The 911 call was very odd, as it appears that Zachary was in shock of what he just did. Even while he was in court, he continued to post on TikTok like nothing ever happened, despite ending somebody's life. Animal cruelty. There are thousands and thousands of examples of this, but today we'll specifically be looking into fish abuse, an animal that seems simple to most. Some would even assume that it doesn't feel pain, it feels nothing. Fish for Thoughts is a YouTube channel that covered this topic in great detail. Go ahead and check it out, but here's a brief explanation. He goes over all the abuse people do to fish for TikTok views especially, like just spinning them on circles and chairs trying to make them dizzy. There's even a video where someone appears to put their fish in a blender. That one at least seemed to be fake, but there are plenty of other videos that show real abuse. 
Here's this one lady that was taking her fish out of the water, holding it in her hand for TikTok views as it suffocates. This topic is truly a rabbit hole and deserves an entire video because there's so many channels that do this. But that was just a brief intro to what animals go through on social media. The darkness. At this point, things are starting to become just creepy, unexplainable, and are disturbing. Some of these videos that we are going to be covering have actually changed lives or even ended lives. This level is not for people who are easily frightened. Hola niños. This translates to hi kids. The guy that you see here is called Maxi Miller with over 4 million followers on TikTok. Seems like a normal dude, but then he makes a scary face. He seems to play off the fact that his teeth are not very well aligned, but he just plays off of this and appears to have this act where he scares people and screams, Hola Niños. Several TikTokers have made parodies of his videos. His channel is a dark rabbit hole in itself and leaves you wondering, why do people watch these? It is truly disturbing just to listen. The screams as they go through these tunnels in the face of fear. To me, it just seems to all be some play for views, but hey, at least he isn't committing crime. He's just scaring people. Ronnie McNutt, truly disturbing and a sad story. Ronnie McNutt was actually a US Army vet and he appeared to be struggling with depression of some sort. He decided to get on Facebook Live one day and end his life. He was only 33. One of his last messages was this. Someone in your life needs to hear that they matter, that they are loved, that they have a future. Be the one to tell them. Shortly after this video, he went live on Facebook and you know the rest. Now, where it takes a darker turn is when people started uploading this haunting footage onto TikTok. They re-uploaded his very last moments, truly disgusting using a veteran's last moments of tragedy for TikTok views. Ugh, Henry. Every good TikTok iceberg has this topic. Basically, this TikTok account recorded the finding of a suitcase with body parts. They were using an app called Randonautica. It gives you coordinates to explore in your local area or wherever you're traveling. It's a good way to learn the area. Somebody had a twisted idea to lead these people to a suitcase with <laughs> remains. They thought it may have been some treasure, but once it started to smell, they realized it was not treasure at all. They later called the police and found out that it was indeed a dead body. If you watch the What's Trending video on this topic, they dig a lot deeper. They go over this other person who used this app and was led to a traumatic scene as well. Basically, this lady went randonauting as well and found a dog off the leash, and the dog later led them to their owner, which was definitely not good for the randonaut app. Well. You somehow made it. We're now at the very bottom of the iceberg, where there's no light at all, and minimal life. Speaking of, missing TikTokers. There are a lot of TikTokers that have seemingly just disappeared off the platform. They just became silent despite having millions of views and fans, they just disappeared with no warning. Just one example of this is Anna. Machkovich. Now this lady appears to be mentally ill, that or she's just doing some play for the internet, but that wouldn't quite make sense, and just wait, you'll understand. She posts videos in a different language, it seems to be Russian. Despite not knowing what she's saying, most people can tell that she seems concerned or worried. Turns out if you look this lady up, she's been missing since 2014. Real quick shout out to Drama Queen for some of this information. She's posted over 100,000 videos. I don't think someone would post that many videos just for some joke. They're all disturbing, equally. Going from her dancing in the forest while growling or have some obvious mental breakdown on other videos. If you look at her video descriptions, they seem to usually be gibberish, that or they have these two tags. Protest against repression since 2001, and then coming after me. Maybe this lady was being blackmailed to do all of this, and maybe she was trying to tell us all along where she was. This lady might be on the run, but we just don't know exactly what's going on here or what she's running from. With nearly 700 million users, 
you're bound to have legal content slip through the cracks. One example of this has been covered very well already, and that was the viral video of a woman. Instead of covering that dark topic, we'll be going over one that I personally have found on the app. A Laytonsville man was pulled over for driving erratically. He appeared to be drugged out of his mind. As soon as he got stopped by the police officers, he came out of his vehicle. He was a massive guy, and he was not going to stop for anything, despite the police officer pointing a f straight at him. He appeared to have something in his hand and attacked the police officer. Now where this video gets really creepy was when he got hit in the chest several times. He continued to walk towards the police officer, acting like nothing happened at all. Most people drop immediately, because after all, you can't take a breath. But he kept moving as if nothing happened. He did eventually drop to the ground, but not at a normal time. Illegal substances are the only thing to explain this man's actions here. Security 1275. The guy that runs this account is named Josh. He's a security guard that patrols the Colonial Park Cemetery in Georgia. He hears and sees paranormal stuff all the time here and he always investigates it. He makes TikToks of him going through and finding all these creepy and paranormal sounds for us to see. One of his videos he's investigating an odd noise but the creepy part was how he just glanced over this body that was standing right there, appearing to be staring at him. But he just missed it in the darkened night. There's another video where this child in a striped shirt appears to be running away from him in the middle of the night in the pitch black. The kid won't turn around so you can never see his face, if he has a face. Here's another example of him going through the cemetery and seemingly not noticing an odd, disformed person hiding in the darkness. After this video, he got a lot of comments talking about this thing in the background. Here's what he had to say. Before you assume this is all fake, listen to this one last story. During broad daylight, he's at the cemetery and he hears this voice and it appears to be the same kid in the previous video. He was responding to vandalism on his day off, and this is what he came across. You gotta get out of here. You're gonna have to come talk to me, okay? After this, he uploads a video of him outside of a police station where he claims that a police officer caught the same exact voices on his body camera. We have yet to find this body cam footage, but that'll be truly terrifying and maybe the last clue we need to finally say that Security 1275 was indeed real. So there you have it, one of the darkest TikTok icebergs. Doubt you'll ever look at TikTok the same, knowing that there's so many horrific things going on in the background. While you watch a meme, somebody else could be watching one of these topics being exposed to the darkness that truly underlies TikTok, one of the largest and most mysterious platforms to exist. If you're interested in using this iceberg chart in any way, feel free to use the video. I just ask that you credit myself. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. We have a lot more content like this, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Anyways, that is it for the TikTok iceberg. Good luck sleeping tonight.